Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Tuesday, January the 12th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, we've been talking a lot, and we should talk a lot, about what happened in uh, our last Wednesday in the Capitol, you know, where that crowd of people broke into the Capitol and engaged in totally illegal and criminal behavior. And as I have said many times, everybody in that group, the people who broke in, should be punished by whatever the law says, whether you go to jail or whether you pay a penalty, or in some cases, it may be worse than that because there was a federal police officer who was killed, and I don't know if the death penalty, for example, would apply in that situation. It may, but my point is that there's no excuse for what happened, and everybody involved in that crazy activity should pay a very heavy, very heavy price. You had 150,000 people at that rally and about 100 of them decided to spoil it by doing something stupid. I mean, I think that was uh, simply unthinkable, and I have no idea what these people thought they were going to accomplish by breaking into the Capitol. There is another topic, though, that nobody seems to be talking about, at least not as much, and that is how in the world was the Capitol of the United States so unprotected? I mean, you had the vice president in that room, you had the Speaker, you had members of the Congress, I mean, you had people in there that normally you think would be protected, but yet they were not. Uh, and it really makes you wonder, what exactly are the security standards for the Capitol? I think this needs to be looked at very seriously. And also, what if, in fact, there had been, let's say, uh, I don't know, a terrorist uh, attack at that time? What if there had been people inside that group with guns or bombs? I mean, it would have been a, a very deadly day, way beyond what it was, all because the Capitol was not protected properly. I don't understand it. I mean, I've been to the Capitol, and you got to go through all kinds of of uh, checkpoints, and that was before 9-11 when I went to the Capitol, and there were all kinds of restrictions. So I, I, I think we need to have a conversation about that as well. How exactly was the Capitol left so unprotected so that people could go in and engage in the kind of behavior that they did? Why were there so few people protecting the Capitol? That's a, that's a question I have, and I hope we get to it uh, eventually. Thank you for watching, and if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.